walked into this gas station with his lottery ticket and he scanned it to see if it was a winner, which normally wouldn't be a problem. Except that lottery ticket was reported stolen just a couple days earlier from the gas station down the street. We don't know if the ticket was a winner, but the man holding it may help police get lucky. Someone forced open the front door, sh shattering it. I went inside and stole thousands of dollars worth of merchandise, including lottery tickets and cigarettes. The burglar broke into the BP in Swickley Township on September 13th, swiping so much stuff, it was too much for one trip. They take so much stuff that it takes two trips for them to come in and out. Among the stolen goods, this man's lottery ticket, which he checked to see if it was a winner at the Exxon up the street just two days after the BP burglary. They don't think he's the one who stole all that stuff. It doesn't appear by looking at the build that the person is the person that committed the original burglary. However, he did come in contact somehow with this lottery ticket. But he might be able to help lead them to whoever was caught on camera in the middle of the night. As for the stack of stolen tickets, well, they're all worthless now. Well, that's the one thing about lottery tickets. They're basically useless once they're stolen because uh, the Lottery Commission, or the Pennsylvania Lottery Commission, is able to flag those tickets and basically make them non-refundable. If you recognize the man who cashed the ticket or if you have any information about who committed that burglary, state police in Greensburg want to hear from you. In Swickley Township, Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.